He is the person considered by many to be the father of geriatric pharmacy practice. I think we can control drug use in the elderly to their benefit a lot more than we do now. We have very good statistics on drug use in nursing homes and quite a number of elderly, almost 30 percent and more, use 8 to 10 to 12 drugs a day. There was a period right after he died when uh, there were at least two, maybe three, search committees to try to find a, a Peter Lamy II. And they never found a Peter Lamy II. <laughs> I mean, he was just totally irreplaceable. The Lamy Center is a center housed within the School of Pharmacy. It spans across two departments, uh, pharmaceutical health service research and pharmacy practice and science. The mission of the center is really to improve medication use and safety in older adults through clinical initiatives, educational training programs, and research. This campus has a strong history of geriatrics and gerontology education and research, and through that strong history, we've had strong collaborations. The central theme, I think, for all of the work we do, including the clinical work, including the education, is, is optimal medication use for older adults. It's a theme of how can we keep our seniors safe, having the best healthcare regimen that they could have. The leadership team on the executive team alone were actually pretty diverse in our areas of training um, in geriatrics as well as our areas of focus. Um, some of us have a lot of clinical training and we do have an excellent researcher in the area of geriatrics. So I think that really makes the center um, very strong and helps us our focus to be very broad around caring for older adults, not just the day-to-day -day, um, working directly with patients if you are a geriatrics clinician, um, but also working from the research side of things of how we can improve the care of geriatrics um, through evidence-based um, medicine. Those are the things that you know really are important to us, is how to keep older adults healthy enough to be functional physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. The Lamy Center has developed and continues to develop resources for the community and students are trained to um, go out and deliver that material with the goal of helping to improve medication safety in older adults and improving their medication literacy and confidence with using medications um, when they're living independently and managing um, their own medications. It's really those community partnerships that are really important um, locally and again gives the University of Maryland School of Pharmacy and the campus at large really that kind of opportunity to better serve uh, not just older adults but the people who care for them. One of the things that I've enjoyed most in my career has been working with graduate students. We would also like to get students involved who are passionate about geriatrics or maybe just interested in gaining some leadership or outreach experience um, during their time here. We are an education-based organization, so helping train our future generation is really another key element of the success of what we do here. But I want there to be sustainable growth and systematic growth and that we bring people in who truly are passionate about the work that we do and that we ourselves continue to be passionate about the work we do. We've been here for 40 years, we've got a history, we have a legacy, and we have a lot of opportunity for growth. 